So welcome back to another hunt video. Hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas. Happy holidays. Uh, New Year's is coming up, so happy New Year's. But I am at it this week. Boy, uh, I've stopped at a few stores briefly already, and <laughs> it feels like, you know, as stocked as the shelves were, like, the stores have pulled everything back, and, like, they're almost all empty. It's very bizarre. Uh, before I go any further, please be sure to uh, like the video, uh, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We're making a strong push right now on the channel. The ch channel's actually started growing uh, a lot faster right now. So it would be a lot of help if you guys subscribe. If you have not already, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, the word for this video is going to be Christmas. So what am I on the lookout for? Don't know. <laughs> it's uh, still looking for that uh, one Black Series uh, set with uh, Bib Fortana and uh, Boba Fett. I did manage to uh, snag the Vintage Collection uh, recent set with um, Bib Fortana and that whole set. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, always on the lookout for NECA. Uh, Transformers, we'll see. Uh, McFarlane. You know, just about everything. Unfortunately, I don't uh, discriminate against a lot of toys. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, let's head on in and see what we can find. All right. So, here we are at the first store. It is a Walmart. And there's some Fantastic Four figures. The Eternals. Some empty pegs, a little bit of Star Wars, nothing too, too much here. Some more empty pegs, oh, but here's some turtles. And here's the NECA section, not too much here. The only thing he noticed here that was of any interest was the uh, Spawn Clown. And now we're at, and this is another Walmart. And the Motu section, nothing new. Just a bunch of basics here. It's actually not a bad uh, basic for Bobby Lashley. This one, yeah, that one looks pretty good actually. See Transformers. A lot of Transformers here. Just nothing that I need. Some Ghostbusters, some Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. A lot of empty shelves here. Look at all these empty shelves. But look at all this turtle stuff. Look at all these turtle vans. I've never seen that many. And just all those pegs of regular turtles. That was just really cool to see. Some Star Wars. Nothing that I need. Marvel Legends. There's some DC McFarlane. Some more Marvel Legends. That Colossus uh, line is starting to be uh, the number two peg warmer behind the Eternals. Otherwise, really not too much here. I mean, this store was actually decently stocked, but it's just nothing I needed. And here is the NECA section of this Walmart. Just the one gargoyle there. Nothing. 
Titans blood sport. And here's a target with an end cap with these uh, Masters of the University Lux figures. Haven't seen those in a store in a long, long time. Here's the wrestling section. A lot of sales going on for these Masters of the Universe. This Jurassic Park set with the T-Rex and the Jeep. Look at all these. And it's still not on sale. I would grab that if it was like $30. 50 I don't know. I don't think so. Here's an end cap. The NECA section. And sorry for these like quick breaks. A reason why it's happening a lot is because of uh, obviously it's Christmas week, so I'm really just trying to not get people in the shot. There's a lot of people around. All right, guys, so uh, this is Christmas Eve, and I am out early. I am going to hit up uh, probably only like two stores right now, uh, but I definitely wanted to hit up. I think I'm just going to hit up two targets, but uh, yeah, I'm going to see what these targets have on uh, Christmas Eve, see if uh, they restocked anything. Who knows? I have no idea what to expect, but you guys are going to want to definitely stay tuned for the pickups and haul portion of this video because holy cow i thought last week i got a lot in the mail this week is setting records records i'm telling you guys so you will not want to miss this haul portion of this video so stay tuned for that but uh, let's head in to this target right now it's uh christmas eve uh, we had some snow uh last night actually so looks like we are indeed gonna have a white christmas so maybe that is a sign of good things to come so let's head on in so here is target and this is usually the target that I go to every Saturday morning. That's pretty good. Uh, however, I went Friday morning, and obviously it's Christmas Eve, so it's kind of a mess. Some J.I. Joe and some Transformers. Cover Commander there. Nothing too crazy. Oh, these two lines are really peg warming hard. This was an end cap, that battle armor Batman. And here's a Batman that I have not seen. It's the hazmat suit Batman. I was going to grab that actually. Some wrestling. See what else we got here. We got some Masters of the Universe. Got Clam Champ over here. Yeah, these deluxe ones I've seen now a few times in the last uh, couple of weeks. The NECA section. Total mess over here. My goodness, what a mess. Sam from the uh, Tiny and Toon Terrors there. I don't know if I've ever seen him before. I mean, it's possible. I just may, may have not paid attention. And here's another target. Uh, the wrestling section. It's a new wave of basics. I like the packaging, actually, on the new wave of basics. Nothing over here that I really need. A lot of Motu on sale. Look at that Faker. That's kind of cool. Hmm. 
Look at all this emptiness. This was cool, it was Red Hood. It's from the uh, Three Jokers line. More McFarlane, a lot of empty shelves here. And here's the NECA section. Nothing, nothing too much here. If that ever dropped in price, I might, I might grab it then, but otherwise, nah. Yeah, so nothing terribly exciting over here. I already have him, but he's cool looking. I already have him, obviously. But I started walking around, and there he was sitting by his lonesome. And then I kept walking, and I saw these, like, Nintendo-style games. I just thought they were cool looking. I've never seen them before. Maybe they've been around, but I just thought they were kind of All right, cool guys. Looking. So here is the pickups and haul portion for this week. And it's kind of ironic that it is Christmas week, given the amount of stuff that... Uh, I basically got in the mail. Very little of this actually came from stores. Only a couple things did. Um, as you guys saw, the stores were kind of cleaned out. There wasn't uh, that much in them. But the mail calls definitely made up for this. And this is probably my biggest week of uh, mail that I've gotten this year. It's absolute insanity. And if a little kid got all this for Christmas... <laughs> this would have been like their best Christmas ever, <laughs> just to give you an idea. So without any further delay in teasing, uh, I'm going to jump right into it. So these first two I actually did get in a store. This was at uh, one of the Targets that I went to that you guys saw. And it is the uh, Batman uh, from McFarlane in the hazmat suit. A pretty cool figure. I actually had this pre ordered, but I canceled the pre order once I saw it in the store. It's a really cool figure. And the other one, this was bizarre. Like, maybe I, I have to go back and look at the footage, but when I went by the first time, this figure was not on the shelves. And then I went by a second time and I, my, the camera was not rolling, it was there. So, I don't know what happened, but be that as it may, I also got this at Target, and this one is one of my most anticipated figures of the year, so I'm very happy to finally get this, and it is the uh, McFarlane Lobo. Awesome, awesome looking figure, awesome character, and I always thought that um, DC kind of messed up by, or Warner Brothers, he kind of messed up for casting Jason Momoa as Aquaman, he would have been a perfect Lobo. That's the role he really should have had. But, by guns. Next, this came from Hasbro Pulse, and I was shocked at how quickly this came because this dropped on their website uh, not that long ago, probably less than two, three weeks ago. And usually I figure it's a pre-order and it's going to arrive in six months, but it arrived uh, this week. And it is the Jurassic Park Transformer Collaborative uh, T-Rex. And this is a transforming T-Rex. And it has the uh, Jeep in there that transforms. So this is really cool. This, this was pretty awesome. I'm very excited to get this. I think this is a beautiful piece, actually, in all honesty. And it, it's going to go well with um, the Back to the Future and Ghostbusters crossover that I have as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this also came from Hasbro Pulse this week. And it is from the 50th uh, anniversary Lucasfilm uh, line. It is from the Power of the Force line. I already have from this one a Luke and Han, I believe. Yeah, Luke and Han. And it is Greedo. 
very cool looking figure. I love these uh, vintage style cards. Even, even being the power of the force, it's still pretty cool. All right, next, this actually technically, these six figures did come from a store, but I did not find them. A buddy of mine found them. Uh, they um, were at a Target. Uh, he sent me a picture. I was like, oh, God, please grab them. And ironically, I was at that Target probably the day before, and these were not out. But he went uh, the day after, and they were all there. And it's the whole line. I had them pre-ordered, but I immediately canceled them because uh, my buddy found them for me. And it is the new vintage collection Star Wars line with uh, Bib Fortana. The dude from The Mandalorian, the Mithril. I was very excited to get this one. Lobot. Just a rebel soldier. Quill. And this is probably my favorite figure of the line. It's a great looking figure. The likeness on the face is incredible. I can't believe they actually got the likeness on the face to be as good as it is on a figure this small. And it is Bo-Katan. You guys can see the face. Looks just like her. Next, this is a pre-order that came from Entertainment Earth. I pre-ordered this. I remember when I pre-ordered it. It was probably around June. And it just finally came. And it is... The uh, from the classified G.I. Joe series, a two pack of Snake Eyes and Timber. Big Bad Toy Store like sent these out long ago, but for some reason, Entertainment Earth uh, took forever on these. But uh, glad to finally get this. And I think after this, uh, and actually another figure that I got this week, I'm probably done with the uh, classified line. Famous last words, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, next, this came from Ringside Collectibles, and it is the entire WrestleMania Elite line from this year, and it has a Build-A-Figure of Vince McMahon, so I'm actually going to open these up. And it is Shawn Michaels. It's a great Shawn Michaels figure. I needed a loose one, so this will uh, definitely... Um, Fit the bill for that. A Bret Hart. And this is uh, Bret Hart when he returned, like, I don't know, like 10 years ago or so. And he had that match with Vince McMahon at WrestleMania. So this is the older Bret Hart. Comes with a cool uh, cloth uh, goods or soft goods t-shirt, though. This is a great, great... Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin figure, so I'm glad uh, that I got this. I have his ultimate, and the ultimates I don't uh, open up, but this will this will be perfect to add to the loose collection. And this is a great figure right here. Uh, this is I'll probably yeah, I'm gonna obviously open him up, so I'm probably gonna have to open up the companion piece, which I don't have opened. Uh, it is the AJ Styles from the Boneyard match, and I have the Undertaker from the Boneyard match, so I'll have to open that one up and put them together. And these I ordered um, also from Ringside Collectibles, and these were on sale like dirt cheap i mean these were ridiculously cheap um this one i got i actually don't have a loose roman reign figure so this will go nicely for that but i also got it mainly for the belt the belts are actually kind of hard to come by so and i want to put uh the belt actually on my uh loose brock lesnar and and this is an ultimate figure and 
honestly, it's probably one of the weaker Ultimate figures, but, and this wrestler's not even with the WWE anymore, but still, it's pretty cool. It's still an Ultimate figure, The Fiend, and this was on sale for like 20 bucks. But it comes with that awesome belt. Um, it definitely looks cool. I mean, it's not bad. But I don't know if the character necessarily warranted an ultimate figure. When I think of ultimate figures, I think of like the ultimate legends that would a, a, be deserving of an ultimate figure. I don't know if the Fiend qualifies as that, but it's fine. And this is actually a two-pack that I almost bought many times, but just never did. And it was on sale also, for, I want to say like for 20 bucks or so. And for two figures, that's, uh, you really can't beat that. And it comes with two belts, which again, uh, that's kind of cool in and of itself. And it is the DX, uh, two pack of Triple H in China. All right. So, uh, I'll show this next. These two games I actually got for Christmas. Um, NBA 2K22 and Alan Wake Remastered. This is a really good survival horror game. Really good. And I I'm, I'm, can't wait to uh, try this out, uh, the re remastered version. Now this... Next one is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, which uh, sells out incredibly quickly. But every once in a while, Hasbro Pulse will release it um, basically unannounced, and it'll end up on the website. And I just happened to come across it accidentally, and it was there. So I definitely got it. And it is the Masters of Disguise Zartan. Comes with all the various faces. This changes faces too. It's pretty cool. So yeah, so I th after these two yeah, this week, I think I'm done with uh, the classifieds. Um, I got a lot of them. I uh, really need to start, start uh, dropping some lines. So that's uh, a line that's going. Let's see. Next, I got these two. Actually, I got them at GameStop. It wasn't on. It wasn't on uh, camera. However, these were the last two figures I needed for this build a figure. So I figured, you know what? I'll get them. I'll open them up. I'll do the build a figure. And it is the T'Challa. What if? The Star Lord. And the Nebula. And now I have the whole line so I can build uh, the watcher and I'll open these up. Next, uh, I think this came from Big Bad Toy Store, if I remember correctly. And this is really cool. I've opened up this entire line, but I think I'm going to keep this one in the package. Uh, just because I have a feeling this one's going to be valuable over time. It is the Savage He-Man uh, two-pack with Orko. Even though it would be cool to open up and have that battle axe, because I can put him with my regular He-Man, but I think I'm going to keep this one in package. This is definitely a cool set, and the Orko is awesome. And last, but certainly not least... I purposely kept this uh, for last because I wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to my buddy Jason who sent me this. It is um, from the Batman 66 uh, series, the Chase version of the Joker. This is awesome. And Jason, you are the man for uh, finding this and sending this along to me. I am incredibly grateful. Jason is a uh, fellow collector uh, that I met it through Man Cave um, on my last trip to uh, North Carolina. Um, he's a fan of uh, both of our channels and uh, just a really incredible guy, a very interesting guy, and um, just it's super grateful. I'm really glad I got to meet you and uh, that we're developing and growing our friendship. Uh, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. 
And I can't wait to see you whenever that may be, but I'm sure it'll happen. So that is it uh, for the week. Uh, yeah, this was a pretty big toy haul this week. Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to put all this, but I always manage to figure it out. So, uh, what's coming up this week? Uh, this week's mid-week uh, video is going to be another top 10 of uh, 2021. Not sure which one, what I'm going to do. I'm only going to do one more line, and I'm debating which one to do. I'm debating between doing top 10 McFarlane or top 10 Masters of the Universe. Why don't you guys uh, help me out and let me know in the comments section which uh, line you would want me to cover. Uh, so, because like I said, I, I'm having a hard time deciding and I'm just going to do uh, one more. And after that, the following week, I'm going to do a top 20 pickups of the year. And that's going to be an awesome video. I can't wait to, to do that one. That is going to be, that's going to have a lot of great stuff in it. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. I'm going to get back out on the hunt uh, this week. Uh, see what we have in the stores uh, post Christmas and post holidays. So that's this week. And that's really about it. So again, please be sure to comment, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, hit those notification bells so you never miss an upload. And until next time, guys, take care.